suppose you have three points, and they're non-collinear. They have to be non-collinear. You want to get the plane through those three points. So it's like having uh, a three-legged stool, and those three points determine where that stool is going to sit. You just need three points, like at the ends of a tripod. If these three points are collinear, you'll get um, a zero for your uh, normal vector. So here's the story. Any plane in 3D has this equation. A, B, C, D are just numbers. So that's, this stands for literally any plane. So you could have the plane Z equals zero. So it's big A equals zero, big B equals zero, C equals one, D equals zero. Big Z equals zero is the X, Y plane. So that's a plane. And all the points in it have z coordinate 0. X and y could be anything. Well, here's our three points. Now, here's what you do. You get a vector from two of the points and a vector from another two of the points. I'm calling them u and v. So I took the 2, 3, 1 vector and subtracted the 1, negative 1, 0. So 2 minus 1, 3 minus negative 1, 1 minus 0. And then I did these two, 1, minus 0, negative 1, minus 1, 0, minus 5. Now I'm going to do the cross product of these. I love writing them just like this. U and V, write them just like this because just write the I, the J, the K above them, and you get U cross V vector, and now I ignore this first column, and I do 4 times negative 5, that's negative 20. Take away negative 2. So negative 20, take away negative 2, is negative 20 plus 2, that's negative 18. Next. It's the second coordinate, so it gets an automatic extra minus sign. When I do 1 times negative 5, that's negative 5, minus 1 times 1. Negative 5 minus 1 is negative 6, so it's negative negative 6. My second coordinate is just plain 6. And now third coordinate. I ignore this column. When I do 1 times negative 2, that's negative 2. Take away 4, that's negative 6. So I can use this as my equation. Negative 18x plus 6y minus 6z Z equals d. Negative 18x plus 6y minus 6z equals d. So that's my structure. That's, that's my equation of the plane. Any one of these three points has to satisfy this equation. So if I use the first point, 2, 3, 1, I get negative 18 times 2 plus 6 times 3 minus 6 times 1 equals D. So that's negative 36 plus 18 minus 6. So that's going to be the same as negative 36 plus 18, that's negative 18, minus 6 more, that's negative 24. My D is negative 24. Now, I just noticed something. All my coefficients, all my constants are multiples of 6. So this is a fine answer, but there's a better one. Also, notice that three of my terms have minus signs. So the same equation but this will not be the book answer. What I'm about to write will be the book answer. Divide through by negative 6. 3x plus, oops, sorry, minus 1y plus z equals 4. I just divided by negative 6. Now, look what I did. I used all three points to make these two vectors. I used these two vectors to get this equation uh, with the d in it. Then I used one of those points, 2, 3, 1, to find this. I have, a, I have a check. I have two checks. I can take this point, put it in here, and see if I get a true statement. 3 times 1 minus negative 1 equals 4. Hey, it's true. This point checks. Let's do the other point. And that's 0, 1, 5. So it's 0 minus 1 plus 5 equals 4. Yeah. So check it out. This equation, I used the first point to get these guys, so the 2, 3, 1 has to work. But I checked the other two points. All three points make this equation true. This has to be the equation of the plane through those three points. That's what it is. I've got it right, and I've got an easy check. So that's how to do the equation of a plane. 
Uh, we're going to do a lot more of these. Then we also can do, uh, by the way, this is all from 12.5. So try a few. Try a few uh, plane equations from 12.5. You can also do a line. Let's do a line through these two points. Two points determine a line. And a line, this is how far we got today. There's two ways to write lines. We did the vector form. Vector form of a line looks like this. You get a direction vector from these two points. This direction vector is 2 minus 1 is 1, 3 minus negative 1 is 4, 1 minus 1 is 0. So that's your direction vector. And the line is 1, 4, 1 times t plus, use either of those points for an anchor. That's the equation of a line. You just let t vary. Let t be anything. That's what generates this. t can be a half. t can be negative 10. That's how you make all the points that are on this line. So that's lines. Now you're going to have a quiz that's completely different. Tuesday quiz. And it's going to be vector, scalar, or nonsense. So you'll have something like this. And that is nonsense because you can't dot a three-coordinate vector with a two-coordinate vector. So you just write nonsense. Now, what if we gave something like this? So there's a cross product symbol. Oh, and I have a three-coordinate vector crossed with a three-coordinate vector. And cross product gives me a vector. I don't ask what the vector is. It's just a vector. Here's one that we did in class. Let's see if this one makes sense to you. So one student gave the answer of nonsense for this, but it's it's perfectly okay. They thought nonsense because they saw the two coordinates and the three coordinates and thought, well, they can't play together no matter what we're doing. But wait a second. The length of this vector is just a number. The length of this vector is just a number. And this is no symbol in between those absolute value bars. So it's this is a number times a number. This is a scalar. If you actually did the problem out, this would be the square root of 4 plus 9, so it's the square root of 13, times the square root of... 9 plus 16 is 25, plus 25 is 50. That would be the square root of 13 times the square root of 50, which is a scalar. But all I really care about is it's a scalar. This thing is a scalar. Okay? And that's where we are.